All right, y'all, for the 2016 CRF 150 big wheel, we got um his parts. We got the, the he just went ahead and got some used, some good used rims because his rim was bent. Um, we, go ahead, we got a new chain, we got a new sprocket. So the, the only thing that he didn't get was the new rear fender. So we just gonna go ahead and put the old, try to make that old fender work, the one that was cracked from his friend Whiskey Throttle in it. And um, he, he didn't get that muffler. As you can see, the muffler is bent a little bit up. So that might affect the fender going on like um real good. Um, But yeah, y'all, other than that, man, we're gonna go ahead and start putting these wheels on. We're gonna go ahead and check his valve clearance, Um, you know, give him a tune up. Then other than that, we're gonna go from there. All right, y'all, so I took the seat off and um, I got the gas tank off. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm um, just going to take off the cam cover and pull out this, this spark plug cap so we can um, pull the cover off. And then we're gonna go ahead and check them valve clearances. And um, one more thing, you always gotta make sure the motor is set at top dead center before you check the valve clearances. So it won't be any pressure on the valve springs. So it could allow, you know, the right clearance but um, other than that, y'all, we're gonna take that cover off, then we're gonna go from there. Okay, y'all, so I finally got that, um, the cam cover off. And now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and check these clearances real quick. We're gonna start with the, the intake clearance first. Okay. And like I said before, man, it's at top dead center. The engine is at top dead center. You can see the lines. Is lined up with that arrow, but okay. The, the right intake valve clearance is too tight. Okay, and that, that, that left one is too tight too. Okay, so he definitely gonna need a valve adjustment. Now we're gonna check the, the exhaust. It's kind of tight up in here, y'all. Just work with me. Okay, that one is good. That clearance is good. And the left. Okay, the left is good too. It's kind of tied up in there, but the left is good too, y'all. So he definitely gonna need a um a valve adjustment. Yeah, see the both of the exhaust valve clearances is perfect. So his intake, um his intake clearances is too tight, which could cause hard starting or when the bike get hot, it um become hard to start stuff like that even um it caused a lack uh, lack in power too so once i um adjust his intake his intake valve clearances all that should be resolved and he definitely will um feel the power a power difference too so um yeah y'all other than that man we're gonna go ahead and pull the the cam all the cam the cam carrier out and take these screws loose and we're gonna start um going ahead and shim it give him a good shimmy then we're gonna go from there all right, y'all. So I went ahead and pulled the carrier out, the cam carrier, as you can see. And um, I took the, the shams out, the intake shams out. And what we're gonna do, like these little shams, we're gonna go down um, one size on the intake shams so they can give us more clearance. Um, but yeah, man, other than that, we gonna go from there. All right, y'all. So I got the valve sham perfectly. And um, as you can see, Everything is nice and smooth. The intake valves kind of tight up in there, y'all. Apologize for that. But the intake valves is nice and smooth now. Nice and smooth on both sides. Very nice and smooth. Yeah, it's kind of tight up in there, y'all. Yeah, it's definitely nice and smooth. So what we're gonna do now is, y'all know the exhaust valves was already perfect. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and put the um, cam cover back on and um, give them a nice tune up. Then we gonna go ahead and start swapping out these these rims and um, put the new chain and new sprockets on y'all. Then other than that, we gonna go from there. All right, y'all, so I went, what I went ahead and did was put the gas tank and the seat back on. I went ahead and threw his rear fender back on the old one, but I put all the screws in it because he was missing screws, a couple of screws, you know, make, mostly everywhere. And I um, went ahead and put this nice little gas tank um, vent line on it for him. 
Um, so the next thing what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take the wheels off and go ahead and put his um, his good used um, wheels on there and put that new chain on, the new sprocket. And other than that, y'all, we're going to go from there. All right, y'all. So I got them wheels snatched off of there. So the next thing I'm going to do is just put the just gonna put the um the good used wheels on and I'm gonna put that new chain and new sprocket and everything else on. Then we're gonna go from there. Alright, y'all. So I got everything complete, nice and complete. The new chains, ties, everything, got oil, got coolant, got everything. So I even clean it up for them a little bit, wipe this plastic down, all the oil stains and stuff I had on it. But yeah, y'all, other than that, man, we're gonna see if it had a V-touch. Get it in gear cycles. 